Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude, I just received one of the best packages in the mail that I've ever received. I'm telling you, my mind is blown right now. Man, I am so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Let's go. All right, so I'm still excited and the name on the package was a very familiar clipper company, one of my favorites, and that was Babelis. And I just wanna give a quick shout out to Dennis and the Babelis team. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you so very much. Man, this is an answer to prayer. I was literally looking at a review of some of your newest clippers and uh, whenever I seen it, I was just, I just kind of shot up a little prayer like, Lord, I would like to have those. And what's funny is uh, I don't have the money to invest in them right now. We just spent a large amount of money to get my third daughter a vehicle. So, uh, you know, three down, one more to go. So pray for us in that area. But, uh, but there again, didn't have the money to invest. And, but I was excited to check out some of these new uh, clippers and trimmers. So, so whenever I seen the package, I was like, man, I wonder, I wonder what they sent me, you know? So, uh, I didn't even want to wait, man. I was sitting right in my truck in the driveway of my own, my old house. And I cut the box open. And the first thing that I saw was this box. And what's crazy is most of you guys know that I am a a low pro fan. If you watch any of my old reviews or my updated review that I recently done on the low pros, uh, you'll understand that there was not any clippers really that could cause me to put down the, the wall seniors that I've been cutting with for 30 years and, uh, and switch over until the low pros. I love the low pros. I love the ergonomics. The only thing I didn't love about the low pros was that Japanese style blade that they had on there. And some people love it. It just wasn't my preference. So um, whenever I reached in the box, I seen this on the side, low pro FX. And I thought, oh, cool, man. They sent me another pair. But then I seen something else that said limited edition. And I thought, Low Pro FX has a limited edition? What is this? So I, 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 that was just my first visual of them in the box. So I pulled them out and checked these bad boys out. Check that out. Man, same body, same build, but in the color gold. Dude, that is what's up. So then I started thinking, so they have gold blades on them. I wonder if it's the same Japanese blade as usual or if it's uh, another. So we're about to find out together. Um, so anyways, let's find out and see what kind of blade they have on this limited edition clipper. Come on, somebody. Look at that. Yes, sir. Come on, a gold fade blade on this gold clipper. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and quiet. Man, oh, come on, somebody. Man, that's good stuff. So I said in my last video, my favorite blade all around uh, is that new Faper blade from, from Gamma Style Craft. Uh, it was also known as the Fusion Blade, now the Vapor Blade, and I put it on all of my clippers. However, um, this is the blade that's just like the Wall Seniors. So if you're into uh, the Fade Blade like I am, this is a phenomenal blade, man, by Babelis, uh, the Fade Blade. So they don't have that old blade on there. Thank you, Lord. I mean, I, I love the clipper. Just not my favorite blade. I know some of you guys like that blade, but for me, I just wasn't a big fan. I would much rather have this fade blade on here. So I'm very excited about it. 
Uh, this is dope. Also, check this out. It's the gold trimmer with a gold blade. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is the DLC blade, I believe it's called, that's on the, the other low pros, the black ones, or I'll tell you what I prefer, and, and we're about to find out, because I looked in the box and seen what was there. I just didn't get a chance to take out everything like I wanted to and look at it. I wanted to wait until I got it on video so that you could get my initial reaction. But uh, my preference, out of all the trimmer blades that Babyliss have, um, my preference is just the old school, uh, the original gold blade that came on the gold trimmers when they first dropped. Man, those things just hit, man. They hit so hard. So anyways, I believe those are actually not the DLC, but those are the Gold FX 2.0s, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So anyways, we're about to find out if this is a gold DLC blade. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Or if this is the OG gold, uh, the gold 2.0. So let's find out. Y'all ready? Well, look at here. Check that out. Gold FX 2.0. Now... It does look like a deep tooth edition, so I don't know if it's the OG OG, but I, li I like the deep tooth. So uh, we're going to find out if these things are hitting like the OGs. But man, so far, dude, I'm just blown away. Once again, Dennis team, thank you so much, man. This is good stuff, good stuff. I said before, I told Dennis, I was like, and you guys heard me say before that I'm just a, a dock fan, you know, like a stand, a clipper stand or a clipper dock fanatic. I would rather set my clippers in a dock or on a stand above all. Um, that's my preference. I don't like sticking them in my drawer and laying them down. I just want to stick them on the stand knowing they're always charging. And uh, anyway, so I kind of made that known to Dennis before. I was like, bro, if these things had a stand, it would be game over, man, game changer. Um, I love the docks, right, the stands. So anyways, as I'm digging in the box, look what he sent me. Guess what these are? This is, this is a low pro trimmer stand, all right? This is, the low pro clipper stand and he sent me two for clippers and two for trimmers which is amazing because i have two clippers two trimmers the black ones and now a third pair come on somebody of the gold and uh the gold clipper and the trimmer so let's go ahead and just take one of these out the box see what they're looking like oh yeah yeah check that out matches the front the front there matches looking beautiful man the build quality feels phenomenal that feels good got the original cord there it just plugs in man nice and deep come on somebody let's go ahead and see what it looks like in there beautiful 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 man if you can't tell, I am excited about this. So I have one for the clipper and the trimmer. Well, two for the clipper, two for the trimmers. And uh, dude, I'm excited about it. So now check this out. I didn't know anything about the stand or these gold uh, low pro limited editions. So I wasn't really even thinking about getting them because there again, I didn't even know they existed. However, I did see something that does exist, and when I saw someone doing a review on it, I said earlier that I was just like, Lord, I would like to have one of those, and uh, this was like a couple days ago, if not last night, I think I was watching a review last night on them, and, uh, and dude, check out what they sent me.
the Snap FX Tremor. Oh my goodness. Dude, the Snap FX Tremor. Now, um, Dennis knows there again that uh, I'm just a, I'm a fan more of the Clipper style like the seniors. Like I just, I'm more of a fan of that. So he didn't have to send me the Snap FX Clipper, but I love their trimmers. I love the OG original trimmers. Um, and to see the stand, when I was watching that review, to see the stand, how beautiful it looked, to see, man, that you could just snap in new batteries and uh, have unlimited run time. And some people say, well, it's not unlimited because every bat battery has a limit. But the idea is that if you have two batteries and one's always charging, then it is unlimited. And I agree, I love the idea. I think it's a phenomenal idea. And uh, anyways, I'm trying to take it out of the box, as you can hear, so that way you can just see it sitting in the stand. Sorry, guys. Making a little racket over here. So uh, anyways, check this out. Man, this is dope. And then you got the batteries. That I'm assuming they just slide right in here. Boom. Make sure it goes in the right way. Check that out. That is dope. Man, the build quality on this is beautiful. Man, look at the logo right there at the bottom. That just looks beautiful. I'm sure it, it may even light up, I don't know. But this is so beautiful to have on your station. And y'all know I'm into that blacked out look. So man, this gun smoke look all blacked out is fire. And you just snap these bad boys right in. Let me make sure it goes in the right way. Gotta get used to it. Never messed with these before. Boom. There it is. So it snaps right in. Feels amazing in the hand. Dude, I'm blessed, man. I can't even lie. Thank you, thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Babelist. Thank you to the team. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. Come on, somebody. Man, this is good, good stuff. So I have the battery in it. You can set it right back in the dock with the battery on it um, while the other one's charging. Man, that is fire. That is amazing. So... We got some low pro FX limited edition gold clippers with the fade blade, the trimmers with the 2.0 blade. And then we got this bad boy right here with the stand. Dude, I'm going to go clear off my whole station and just redo everything. I didn't even want to go into the shop. But because I got this package in the mail, man, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm... I'm just so excited that I think I'm going to go into this shop and just move everything off my station, set this up, and just clean it up, man, get it looking beautiful. And uh, anyways, obviously I haven't had a chance to use them because I just opened them, but in the near future I will do an updated review on the limited edition clippers and on the Snap FX trimmer and uh, in these stands and let you know what's up. But once again, Dennis, Babelist team, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Extremely grateful. And uh, you guys are a phenomenal company. I'm, I'm just honored that you would even think to send me anything. So I appreciate you. Uh, and everybody else, I hope that you enjoyed me unboxing this and taking a look at it as much as I did. And until next time, God bless you guys. Peace. I'm out of here.